Hi everyone, time to feed the garden. So I am out here today looking at my peppers. So I planted these red bell peppers from seed, from the ones that I had from the store. Now I know they may not be heirloom and organic and all that stuff, but I wanted to just try to see what I could propagate from all of my kitchen scraps. And this is what I have. The only issue is that they're like the size of a lemon. <laughs> so it's time for me to feed them and I'm gonna use my fish emulsion, which you'll see in the thumbnail. And just mixed with water. And this baby has in rot, look at that. So that's what I've been encountering with the first few. There's another one from the summer. But down there, yeah, I just leave them in there so far, the insects have been leaving them alone. Could be my diatomaceous earth, but it hasn't been causing too much of a problem. Just tried to leave it in there and fertilize the plant even more. But see, they're tiny. I am going to try and prune some of these leaves. So maybe that can help alleviate some of the issue. Because I want to grow fruit, not necessarily leaves because it's pretty leafy so I'm gonna take some of these bottom leaves off this one's flowering uh, probably need to I'm gonna take it off just like we do with the tomatoes and keep these kind of thinned out at the bottom and I have one two three and at one two three I started out with five one of them didn't make it. I think the summer kind of just got the best of her. Let me pull her to the side. I'm going to take her out. And then these are black. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know if that means they're rotted. If anybody knows, please help me. I'm not sure. But they're supposed to be green. First time growing them here. <laughs> So, if you know, leave something in the comments for me, please. Help us sister out. All praises to the most high. Yeah, I am giving it a try. And, same thing. Just going to pull off these bottom leaves. Do a little bit of pruning. Nothing serious. It's raining. Thought, to, thought it to be a beautiful day to get out here and I'm gonna just put them down here and let them just kind of protect there you go that should be fine I have wood chips down there as well try to retain some of the moisture but honestly these really like a lot of summer heat and it's gonna be in the 70s or so this week I don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep them out here but I just kind of wanted to see if I could pump them up just a little bit, uh, a little bit more and fatten them up if I can. Granted, I know they may not be as big as the ones we're used to in the store because only God knows what they're putting on those commercially purchased produce we eat or try not to eat. <laughs> but yeah. Here we go, just plucking. Forgive me for the, uh-oh. I didn't mean to break that one off, that's okay. But yeah, they're just tiny, they're fruited. I planted these in May. So they've been hanging out all summer. I wasn't able to taste one. I might take one of the bigger ones off. She's about the size of a small lemon. And that's the biggest that I have. I did a mix of green and red seeds from what I purchased in the store. But they, they all sprouted fairly well. And I was happy to, to see that. Now I am oops, 
going to just pour in my fish emulsion, emulsion. and this is basically uh, maybe about da -da 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 -da, two maybe about two or three tablespoons of fish emulsion mixed with water and I use my spring water for these I filter all my water anymore y'all I'm trying to start collecting water harvesting water from rainwater that'll be great as well stay tuned for more information as I learn it I'm gonna share it promise and squeeze that on up in here and I love reusing my old water bottles they come in handy I have a whole cart full and I poke holes right in the top make my own spout waste not what not that's my mantra okay there we go this fish emulsion i'm telling you really uh, does a great job with my plants so i'm prayerful that this is going to help boost the growth and stimulate a larger fruit for us but if not I'm going to eat what I have. I've got to research these black peppers. I don't know if they just start out that way, but it's not like it's a certain breed that's causing them black. I don't know. But I'm going to find out. First time I'm seeing them. Maybe that's the beginning of the end rot. I hope not. We shall see. Once I found that first fruit with that blossom emrod on it, um, my understanding is that it's lacking some nutrients. So I kicked up for my fertilization and put it on a schedule of every two weeks, feeding it bone meal, my or organic mix, which is a granule. I'll show you that as well and or fish emulsion this week I chose my fish emulsion because it's been a while and it's a little bit more fast acting because it's a liquid versus a granule the granule needs some time to break down so therefore um since we're already heading into October I'm really not sure how much these peppers are gonna hold up it's gonna start to dip below 70 soon here but until then i'm gonna leave them out here uh-oh i already see an end rot on this one look at that let me take her off ew look at that yeah they're not doing good anybody have any tips for me do share taking all tips all suggestions all prayers so Stay tuned, guys. And that should be enough, honestly, for right now. It's raining today. So I felt this would be a good day to come out here and give them a little extra kick. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope all is going well with you all and happy gardening to those who are gardening as well. And I'm hoping that some of these tips I'm sharing will help you in your production as well. Again, drop any tips you may have, and I'm excited to see what we can grow. Take care. Blessings.